Today, science-minded learners, welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me, Teacher Ben. Have your pen, paper, and module ready. For today, we will learn about the volcanoes and how it made changes in Earth's surface right here in our Science 6 class. In our previous lesson, we learned about the effects of earthquake in Earth's surface, right? As a review, answer the following questions. Number one, what layer of Earth is made up of small and big tectonic plates? Letter A, crust. Letter B, inner core. Letter C, outer core. Or letter D, mantle. If your answer is letter A, crust, you are correct. Number two. At what magnitude can an earthquake cause displacement of buildings and cracks on Earth's surface? Letter A, magnitude 4 to 4.9 Letter B, magnitude 5 to 5.9 Letter C, magnitude 6 to 6.9 Or letter D, magnitude 7 to 7.9 If your answer is letter D, you are correct. Number 3 what is the Pacific Ring of Fire? Letter A, an area where crustal plates are hard. Letter B, an area where crustal plates are weak. Or letter C, an area without crustal plates. And letter D, an area without an earthquakes. The correct answer is letter B. Number 4. Which of the following event causes an earthquake? Letter A, too much heat from the sun. Letter B, changing of temperature. Letter C, movement of crustal plates. Letter D, too much rain. If your answer is letter C, you are correct. Number 5. Where does an earthquake originate? Letter A, epicenter, letter B, focus, letter C, intensity, or letter D, magnitude. The correct answer is letter B, focus. That's awesome, science-minded learners. You really understood our previous lesson. Now, for me to know if you have a prior idea on our topic for today, let us answer the following questions. Choose the letter of your correct answer and write it in your paper. Ready? Then let's go! Number 1. Which part of a volcano is a crater? Letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? If your answer is letter A, you are correct. Number 2. Which part of a volcano is a volcanic vent? Letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? The correct answer is letter C. Number 3. Which part of a volcano is the magma chamber? Letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? If your answer is letter D, you are correct. Number 4. Which part of a volcano is the lava? Letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? If your answer is letter B, you are correct. Number 5. What do you call a volcano that have not shown sign of activity for a long period of time and has no record of eruption in the past thousand years? Letter A, active volcano, strong volcano, extinct volcano, or dormant volcano? The correct answer is letter C. How many points you've got, science-minded learners? That's good! If you find questions hard, 
don't worry because I'm here to help you understand our lesson. So, are you ready to learn something today? I'm sure you are. Now, let's dive into what's new. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a volcano? Or have you ever gone near a volcano? How it is different from other landforms? Now, let us learn about a volcano's in how it made changes in Earth's surface. This is a volcano. A volcano is an opening in the Earth crust where lava, molten rocks, and gaseous materials are forced out through its opening. In the Philippines, there are many known volcanoes. Let me show you some picture of it. Like this one, this is Mount Bulusan in Sorsogon. This one is Mount Pinatubo. It was in Sambales. This one is Mount Canlaon and it was located in Negros Oriental. And this is Hibok Hibok Volcano in Camiguin. Volcanoes also vary in different sizes. Some are low-lying depression. Some are maybe small like this one. This is the Al Volcano. It is in Batangas. Other volcanoes are tall like the Mayun Volcano in Albay. Do you know how a volcanic eruption occurs? When the tectonic plate collide, Massive rock underground deform and trigger build up of temperature and pressure. This high temperature and pressure result in melting of rocks and become a magma. And when pressure build up, magma rises to the surface and volcanoes erupts to release the pressure with lava and other gaseous materials. When some volcanic eruptions are explosive and other are not. Now, let us describe the different parts of a volcano. Let's start with crater. The opening of a volcano is called the crater, and deeply under it is a magma chamber. Molten rocks inside the magma is forcefully driven out by intense heat and pressure. When the magma are released from the crater, it is called volcanic eruption. The magma that flows out in the surface is called lava. This cylindrical channel that connects crater to the magma chamber is called volcanic vent. Other volcanoes have secondary vent or side vent which is also way out for the magma. When volcano erupt, it throws out lava together with gases, rocks, and ashes. Volcanic eruption may be exclusive or non-explosive. An eruption is explosive when large number of pyroclastic material are injected by the volcano into the air. What is pyroclastic materials? This consists of lava, volcanic ashes, and rocks. An explosive volcanic eruption occurs when gases in magma are trapped causing a buildup of pressure in a magma chamber. As a result, the gases expand very quickly and explode violently. This results in loud explosion. An explosion eruption can last for several hours or even days. In non-explosive eruption, lava just flows out of the crater in gaps of the volcano. This kind of eruption happens when there is less pressure in magma chamber. Actually, 
If the magma chamber mirrored in the Earth's surface, there would be probably have less pressure. There are three kinds of volcano according to activity. These are active volcano, dormant volcano, and extinct volcano. A volcano is considered active if it is currently erupting or showing regular signs of activity like earthquake and significant gas emission. An active volcano has a record of eruption within 50 years. Number 2. Dormant Volcano These are volcanoes that erupted and then have entered a long period of inactivity. According to the seismologist, the longer the period of dormancy or inactivity, the greater the chance of having a very explosive eruption in the future. Number 3. Extinct Volcanoes These are volcanoes that have not shown sign of activity for a long period of time and has no record of volcanic eruption in the past thousand years. Volcanic eruption can cause damage to plants, animals, and people, and even properties. Aside from destruction of materials released by a volcano, can have beneficial effects in nature and people. Therefore, volcanic eruption can give some good and bad effects. During a volcanic eruption, a very hot lava flow can burn anything in its path. The mud flow or lahar can cause landslide flooding and immense damage to buildings and farms. Volcanic ash and dust released in the air can irritate lungs and cause health problems. Very strong eruption can also trigger earthquakes and cause damage in buildings and other properties. But despite the destruction it causes, a volcanic eruption can also be beneficial. It's right, the pyroclastic materials in volcanic eruption can make the soil fertile which is good for planting and farming. The heat inside the volcano can cause gases to come out through the holes or vent called fumaroles. These fumaroles can provide geothermal steam to generate electricity. Eruption can also produce materials like pumice and sulfur. Pumice is used in grinding and polishing stone, while sulfur is used in making matches and firecrackers. The rocks from volcanoes also help scientists to study the interior of the earth. Now for me to know if you really understood our lesson for today, let us answer the following questions. In your paper, write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Number 1. The release of magma from the crater is called earthquake. Number 2. Pyroclastic materials consist of lava, ashes, and rocks. Number 3. 
Volcanic eruption may last within a few minutes. Number 4. When magma flows on the surface, it is called lava. Number 5. Tile volcano is found in Batangas. Number 6. When lava just flows out of the crater in gaps along the side of the volcano, it is called explosive eruption. Number 7. Volcanic eruption can destroy properties and kill people. Number 8. Fumaroles can provide geothermal steam to generate electricity. Number 9. Ashes and other pyroclastic materials emitted by a volcano can make the soil more fertile. Number 10. Rocks from a volcanoes are used by scientists to study the interior of the earth. Select the correct answer. Number 1. Which part of a volcano is a crater? Letter A, Letter B, Letter C, or Letter D. Number 2. Which part of a volcano is a volcanic vent? Letter A, Letter B, Letter C, or Letter D. Number 3. Which part of a volcano is the magma chamber? Letter A, Letter B, Letter C, or Letter D. Which part of a volcano is a lava? Letter A, Letter B, Letter C, or Letter D. Which of the following is not a beneficial effect of a volcano? Letter A, the pyroclastic materials from a volcanic eruption can make the soil fertile. Letter B, eruption can also produce industrial materials like pumice and sulfur. Letter C, the rocks from a volcano can also help scientists study the interior of the earth. Letter D, volcanic ash and dust released in the air can irritate the lungs and cause health problems. Congratulations learners! You all did great today! Did you enjoy our science adventure? That's awesome! It is really a fantastic journey with you kids and I'm so excited to join with you again next time for another video lesson episode as we explore better science subject. Once again, I'm Teacher Ben. See you next time kids. Bye-bye!